students how are you all welcome to our virtual class it's me your english teacher today in our english class we are going to do the question number three of learning words as today we have done question number one and two of learning words so today question number three write the past tense form of these verbs you may need to double the last letter of uh, some of them so past tense first of all we have to know what is past tense a tense expressing an action that has happened already okay that has happened already that is a past tense so we have to change these words here i have changed here you can see jump J U E M P jump jumped. We add E D to make past form in jump. And here in our question, it is said that you may need to double the last letter. Okay, you may need to double the last letter, like in word slam S L A M slam. How we make past tense? We have to double the last letter. S L A M M E D slammed. Drip. D R I P P E D drip. Lift. Lifted. Sob. Shocked. Dab. Dabbed. Blaze. Blazed. Stop. Stopped. Okay. Let's go to another topic now. Language in use. A N and the okay so the story begins with this sentence the story begins with this sentence a young man was traveling down a neighborhood street means in our story okay in our story i'm sorry you can see in that passage these lines a young man was traveling down a neighborhood street later the story talks about the young man or the man not a young man okay you can read the story again and you can uh, find out there at, at first uh, a young man it was introduced like in this way a young man and the, in second time uh, the story talks about like the young man the man but it was not mm, talk uh, talk like a young man later okay the man looked in the direction the boy was pointing at now sobbing the boy asked the man the young man tried to swallow means all is not used there okay second time after a first time they is used there we use a or N when we talk about something new or when we describe something means when we talk about something new at first time that time we use A or N okay but while describing the same thing uh, second time we use the it means to say like that way understood everyone so yesterday we went to a restaurant it was a lovely place we use the when we talk about something for the second time i said you already i said already okay i had a burger and an ice cream the ice cream was delicious means here you you might have noticed that next time ice cream next time the ice cream but at first an ice cream okay now let us fill here correctly now fill in the blanks using a and or the one day bagram got this is number one okay number one uh, one day bagram got dash envelope envelope it is uh, the word start with the vowel letter e so we have to use n here one day bagram got an envelope in the post he opened it it was dash later means it was the letter is uh, um, introduced first time here isn't it 
that is why it was a letter three number das letter means the letter was introduced already before so this is the sixth uh, see, this is the second time okay so a or the of course the not a isn't it the letter said congratulations you are lucky winner lucky winner so lucky winner is introduced first time so you are a lucky winner you have won das prize five number das prize means uh, prize is also introduced uh, first time so you won a a prize Call us on 9851138399. His sister asked, what's dash price? See, price is introduced already in five number. Okay, already introduced in five number. So in six number, uh, price is again uh, described here. So the price, what's the price? Let's call this number, said Babram. He took seven number. Okay, here. Just later, later also describe already. So that is why the later and went to our telephone booth. Our telephone booth because telephone booth was not discussed before here in uh, above number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven number, isn't it? So in eight number, our telephone booth and call the number. An old man. Old man is a old man is introduced firstly here, so that is why an old man answered the phone. Baburam said, This is Baburam. I have won a prize. Will you please tell me what it is? Yes, you have won a free trip to Pohara, said the old man. Okay, the old man. Oh, what's where? My grandpa lives, said Bagram, the old man. Now you can see the old man, okay? The old man uh, laughed and said, Bagram, this is your grandpa, okay? So, I hope all of you have understood when to use a and or the, okay? Uh, you do this activities in your notebook, okay? Only this much for today. Bye-bye all of you.